Hey guys, it's Ariana Rivieska. If you're new here, welcome. I talk all about stocks, real estate, and just entrepreneurship in general. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to get started options trading. Now, just a little disclaimer. This is me just sharing what I've learned so far. I'm not an expert in any way and I will never claim to be. Anything that I share on the internet, I am not certified in any way. This is not advice. This is me just sharing what I've learned so far. So yeah, just take it with a grain of salt. I definitely recommend you further your research, but before we get started, let me just go ahead and promote all my socials. I got a free Discord and I'm always posting stuff on my Instagram related to stocks, you know, keeping you guys updated with the news as well on my Twitter. Down in the description too, I have all my affiliate links with Weeble and with Ledger. So if you use my Weeble link, you get four free stocks. I also have linked all the services I offer. I do one-on-one -on -one Zoom meetings where I take you through the entire getting started process with either drop shipping, uh, stocks and crypto or even website design and social media and this is all on how to make money online how to make passive income online i'll be the one to personally guide you through the entire process on zoom and i offer both monthly meetings or lifetime type of meetings definitely check it out if you're interested in that but that's pretty much it for the intro let's get started First things first though, what the hell is options trading? Options trading is essentially buying contracts of a stock at a suggested price. Each contract varies depending on the stock price that you believe it'll hit. For example, if you believe that a stock share price will increase in the future, you would enter a call options contract. If you believe the stock share price will decrease in the future, you will enter a put options contract. So what are the risks with options trading? Options trading is one of the the riskiest forms of trading in the stock market the main reason why it's so risky is because you're thinking ahead you're literally just going in based off past patterns and sometimes people enter contracts of stocks without being very knowledgeable of the way that stock moves in other words, they're choosing random stock and not analyzing how that price of that stock changes every single day. In order to avoid this risk, you just have to choose the right stocks. Don't choose random penny stocks or meme stocks because those stocks have really choppy chart patterns. And by choppy, I mean this, you know, like they kind of just go all over the place. They don't have an exponential growth up. Instead, start off with a more consistent growth chart. An example may be stocks or ETFs. ETFs like SPY, Apple, C Limited, Square, Facebook, Crocs, and or the majority of the stocks in the S&P 500. The app I use for options trading is Thinkorswim, and I'm gonna hop on the computer right now for the rest of the video to show you guys exactly how I do my options trading. I will also be showing you guys how I do it on my phone for those of you that do not have a computer. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so here I have my thinkorswim pulled up. And first thing we're gonna do is set the strikes to all. This is gonna show you all the prices, all the contracts that there are um, involving C Limited. And then this other area is where we wanna focus on. So this right here is basically the stats that we're gonna go based off to analyze whether or not it's a good trade to go in. So to edit this, you wanna go to layout and you wanna customize, right? So here we have a bunch of different ones that we can do. But yeah, what you're going to want is volume, open interest, and delta. So volume basically tells you just like the activity going on with that um, contract. And open interest is how many contracts are currently open. So how many people are currently on this and have it open. And for delta, you always want to have it over 0.3 for calls. So this, this section right here, the left side, it's all going to be for calls, which is whenever the stock price increases, right? If you're guessing that the stock price will decrease, you, you want to go to the right side which is put a good indicator to know whether or not the price is, a, is good to enter at is looking at the delta make sure it's over 0.3 so as you can see here this is the one i currently have open yeah i entered 340 where right now it is currently at 353 which means i'm in the money <laughs> in this case we're looking at October 1st. So on October 1st, our contract will expire, which means we can collect the profits, but we will be buying a different one. Let's go all the way till, let's go, let's do all the way until November 19th. All right, so first things first, C Limited is currently at 353. An idea of like how much C Limited usually grows by, is I would say $20 every month, $20 to $40 every month. So November is, right now it is September. 
September, so November is about two months away. And to me, the safest the safest price to go to is three seventy or three eighty. So this is something that usually happens to me. First thing I do, I choose the average of how much the stock moves by, right? I know C Limited really well. This is a stock that I've been watching ever since October. Three seventy to me, somewhere around three seventy or three eighty sounds really good. And as you can see here. 370 has more contracts opened and has more activity going on than 380 and the delta is higher for 370 therefore maybe 370 is the safest option and honestly it's better to go lower than to go overly ambitious even if you decide to choose 370 over 380 you're still gonna profit so it's like it's better to know that you're for sure going to pro profit rather than choosing something overly ambitious like 380 okay just with option trading you gotta be super super careful don't let your emotions get to you and if if statistics if all this data is showing you this is the better better option don't go for something that seems like out of pocket the third step is we're gonna go over here and look at these columns the bid and the ask price this is basically like a spread of how much it is this is what we're gonna be buying the ask price um if it's way too big of a difference sometimes there can be like a five dollar difference between these two like over here there's a two dollar difference so that that's an indicator that it's a pretty risky trade a pretty risky contract go in on whatever you can afford to lose yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and click the ask price and we're gonna do change it to a market order and we're gonna just put five for the quantity so this is where you're gonna edit your quantity change it to market and that's literally it okay here we are it's a call for 370 expiring on november 19th for c limited and this is all simulated market is currently closed so it's not going to process but you just click confirm and send and you go ahead and send it so i'm gonna enter a microsoft call and the first thing i'm gonna do is just like kind of go through the charts and see how much it's grown so in this month it's grown about 16 dollars and it looks like three months 50 74 and six months yeah so this is definitely a call i want to get into i would say the average that it grows every month is like 10 15 dollars so we're just gonna go back into thinkorswim go to positions trade it let's search up microsoft option chain and first thing you want to do is edit this right here so as you can see i already have it open in delta and volume but to edit it i'm gonna go into settings right here and oh well, i'm gonna just delete this just to show you guys like how to do it but you go all the way down or like look for it and i just press add and there you go they're already added that's done let's choose our when our contract will expire right now microsoft is at 301 we're gonna go with october 15th for our contract to expire i'm gonna go all the way down to 300 it looks like three 310 is a pretty good um place to enter because as you can see here 305 is at 0.4 for delta 315.2 and all the way down delta just continues to decrease and there are also more contracts opened in between those two options or those three options so i'm gonna just go to 310 we're gonna go with the ask and we're gonna change it to market and we're just gonna go with three and as you can see here it's also cheaper to buy contracts for options which is why people love them so much because you get to make a lot of money with a little bit of money instead of buying like every single share you get them for a much much cheaper price so yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and review it and then paper trade so you can see here three microsoft will expire october 15th entering 310 options call for microsoft and now the market's closed so i'll just do it again for market open thank you so so much for watching i really hope you found this video useful and now you can kick start your options trading career i guess please 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 if you're gonna be doing options trading use the paper money feature on thinkorswim before you get into it because options trading is extremely extremely risky so Please do not start off with your real money if you're just gonna be practicing. Use the Thinkorswim paper money. You can use fake simulated money to get started. And that is exactly how you will master options. Be patient with it. Don't go all in as a beginner. Just get a feel for it first. And then once you're ready, go crazy. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye.